Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this simple traffic light. Okay, so I'm gonna hide this first. Go to object mode. I'm gonna hide. Press H to hide, and I'm gonna add a new one. I'm gonna add a cylinder. I have to change this before from 32 to 8. Okay, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna make here is a low poly. Okay, Let's scale that one. And maybe go to go to edit mode. Make it easier. Grab the face. Press one and grab that. Press G over there. Okay. Doesn't matter how high you want your traffic light. It depends on you. And you get something like maybe like that. Okay. So we get our pole there. Now let's make the box. The box something like I'm gonna use the cube. Press the Z. I'm gonna press three for side view. Let's make that a little bit thinner, scale it to the Y. Grab that to the Y a little again. Press G. Grab that to the Y. Okay, now it attached over there. Let's scale it to the X, make it thinner. And I got something like that. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna press space select. There. Grab that to the Y. Got something like that. Press one. Hmm. Yeah, that's way too small. I'm gonna scale it over there. Let's get it the X. And you got something like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to here. The face of the box. I'm press I to insert. But before you do that, make sure you apply the scale. Okay. So I'm in object mode, control A, and enable this, and apply the scale, okay? So there will be no problem with the insert, okay? Over there, it's screwed there to the Y. Just a little bit. No need to add, no need for something over there, okay? Just like this. Now let's add the light, the tree light, okay? I'm going to use, what I'm going to use is actually, uh, you can use a cylinder as well and the circle. For me, I'm gonna use the. I'm just gonna use the cylinder. Rotate that to the X, 90 degree. Press 3, grab that over there. Scale it a little bit. And move it. Maybe over there. Let's scale it to the Y. Okay, got something like that. And I'm gonna press this face, press I to insert. Okay, got something like that. Let's extrude this one. Extrude. Just a little bit. And let's extrude this one. This one gonna this one out, oh not that one. Okay, now let's extrude. Make this one a little bit longer. Something like that. Okay. Now let's see if we have doubles. Okay, we don't have double, which is very nice. And for this one, I think I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? Maybe I'm gonna poke face. Ah, poke face. Yes. Over there and grab that to the Y to bring them out. Okay, just a little bit like that. And you got something like that. And for the blue, if you want, you can use an array, okay? But I'm just gonna duplicate 50, duplicate to the Z. Maybe I should turn the cavity first. The, over here, where are they? Hmm. Okay, there we are. Let's turn on the cavity, the x-ray, not the x-ray, the shadow, okay, the shadow, shift D to add another one, and the over there, I grab this a little bit, yeah, something like that, okay, so that's uh, basic of the street, the traffic light, and now let's shade it, okay, go to here, 
Let's paint the pole first. For the pole, I think white is better. But let's make it a little bit dark. I don't need the roughness. I'm gonna go to one. Specular, I need the specular just a little bit. And for the box, is it the box, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna choose it to black. I need roughness. I don't want to go something this black. I need a little bit of shine. So, yeah. It just the specular depends on your liking, okay? And for this tree, select this one, this, this one, this, and this. Make sure the highlighted orange is this one because this is the material that we're gonna use. Copy and paste it here, this tree, okay? Control L, over to here. Make sure your cursor is here, okay? Not for here. Control L, the material. And you get something like that. Now let's paint light. So this one, oh, object mode, put face select, no, nope, not face select, press one now, like that, okay, add a new one, Let's assign, this one's going to be the yellow red, I'm going to decrease this one, okay, maybe that makes sense, because it's a glass. Reset over there and this one we'll select or we'll press one again and let's add another one new sign maybe yellow specular yes oh don't need to make specular roughness three okay and now the last one oh last one there Add a new one and hit assign. This is gonna be the green specular and the roughness. And you got something like that. Very really cool, right? If you want, for each of this light, you can actually use emission, okay? If you want it to be lit use emission okay all right so that's how i make my traffic light guys so what you see here it's an ev and yeah that's how it's done so go ahead try it yourself get used with blender okay so that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial okay now bye now